let's go back and let's try to understand uh, this one so what i have already done is i have learned from the literature based on the column and table so i can learn about the methods i can learn about the sector context everything so i have a different you know set of understanding about all these tools so we can use uh, these tools uh, in order to extract this information especially from pdf file so this is the first tool uh, my first tool which i i really love it makes my work very easy uh, because uh, we were trained to develop these types of tables uh, and we need to spend a lot of time now we can upload pdf files and just use these ai tools to learn from the literature now once we have learned when I say learn, it means that you have that table ready with you. You have all the information in Microsoft Excel sheet. So table means that the abstract summary, finding sector, sample, everything is, is, is ready and available in your Microsoft Excel sheet. Okay. Now this Excel sheet we have extracted from size space. Okay. So now the next step is from learning from the literature. Now, SciSpace also give us some opportunity to learn from that Excel sheet and extract some information. But this is not what we need exactly. We want to, you know, lead the process and we want to develop uh, understanding based on our own framework. That's quite difficult to work with SciSpace. So that's why we need another tool. And this is where uh, we can use any of tool which have the capabilities like Power Drill. Power Drill, I believe everybody have already used this tool because I taught this tool many times. So you have access to this tool for free and it allow you to upload data as well. So now Power Drill have some different functionalities which are amazing. Okay, so I, I believe this uh, uh, Power Drill is it's really powerful in developing some understanding from uh, that microsoft excel sheet and not just uh, understanding but it can also analyze and classify literature into different themes previously we were used to do all this text-based mining based on maybe any bibliometric analysis tools or all this but now we have this capabilities within these ai tools so we can use them and this is where power drill is very handy very powerful tool for uh, doing the similar job okay so let's let's try to work with power drill now and power drill is another very powerful tool let me just get into the software so we have a video on power drill also so you can use this uh, for many 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 different purposes but the good thing about this tool is you can upload some data and you can ask questions about it and this tool have been evolved significantly and the new features are amazing okay so i will tell you what, what type of new features are there and how we can use them okay so okay so let's move on with the next step so what we are trying to do is we have already extracted the data from uh, um, size space and we have excel sheet ready with us so uh, i can show you my excel sheet this is a table which i have uh, extracted from size space and SciSpace uh, gave me a comprehensive table of all studies. Some information might be missing, but still it's really powerful. Okay. Now, this is Microsoft Excel sheet. Okay. So you can see all the information which I need from SciSpace is already there okay sector qualitative methods measure theory limitation everything is already being given and you can see that some information is not available that might be possible it's not available within the uh, the research article so but if you want to uh, dig deep so you can uh, you know view this article separately and check whether this uh, information is available or not but still it's, it's a very minimum work because it, it missed very few columns and tables so there are two or three paper missing so i can read them if they are not useful i can remove them from this uh, sheet and work with my rest of the data okay now this excel sheet what i want to do is i want to learn from this data so what are the different uses of blockchain based on the different industries okay so 
So Power Drill gives you option to upload data. Now these are different data sets. So you can see I have already uploaded uh, blockchain table. So uh, you can also similarly upload this data by clicking this data set option. Once you click this, you need to give some options of uh, the name, the description, and then you need to continue. For example, I'm giving it blockchain tables too. If you want to give some information, so mine is like supply chain, so I just give this. So this is the option to upload the data. Files are basically CSV, Microsoft Excel, X, uh, PowerPoint. So these are different options which we can use to upload files. So this is my supply chain file and uh, I have uploaded this option. Now I have this data set with me. Now I can use this data set to extract information. Now previously what we were doing is we were using simple chat option. Many times I have already discussed in the video so we can use this simple chat option to talk to our data. But today we will be learning another very important option. This is advanced analytic. Now previously what we were doing is we were using simple chat option. Many times I have already discussed in the video so we can use this simple chat option to talk to our data. But today we will be learning another very important option. This is advanced analytics, a very powerful analysis option or the tool. You can see I have already used a lot of uh, information from this. So uh, this is very important, powerful tool. So you can use advanced analytics so you can work with, with your own data set. Now, if we want to upload these files, so again, I need to upload this Excel sheet. So we can just upload this file now. Now system is working with, with this data set now. Okay. Okay. Now let's ask a simple question. Okay, now I'm just asking a very simple question. What are the different research clusters based on summary of finding in data? Okay, now I specified this data analysis tool to search or to read all my data, but use finding column, summary of finding. This is the column name. So summary of finding column to analyze what are the different clusters uh, available in, in the data, okay? So uh, we can use this. And here we can, you know, data set control, if you want to click here and you can see all of your data set. So uh, let's say we can use this data or we can understand about this data also. But let's go back. Uh, sorry, I have to write this one again. So you can control data set here or you can add any uh, data set. So let me write the prompt again. I'm just giving it a very simple prompt, not very specific. I'm not using 4C formula, which I have already explained many times to many people. So you can watch that video where we discuss about the chat GPT and we can use chat GPT in order to, uh, you know, prompt for prompt engineering and prompt engineering, uh, we are using 4C formula. So uh, you need to give a detailed analysis uh, prompt, but for now I've, I'm just giving it a very simple prompt just to understand uh, or to demonstrate to you that how much powerful this tool is and how we can learn and we can work with this uh, data set. Okay, so uh, we can use any of these different prompts, but now the system is, is already working. 
and let's see what are the outputs but obviously the more accurate prompt will give you more accurate results so you need to work on your prompt very carefully for the illustration purpose i'm just giving you a very simple prompt okay but you need to give a very detailed a very specific prompt where you have your framework ready you have that framework in your mind that's why i told you you need to follow that workflow so once you have that framework in your mind you can write a very efficient prompt here in data analysis and you can specify on what grounds you want to uh, you know uh, specify the literature okay so that's where you need to use that framework and create your own very specific prompt okay so let's wait for uh, the analysis and you will see many different options are being you know provided by this tool okay you can see that it's it's amazing it gives us a lot of information very specific analysis just based on one very simple prompt i have not crafted this prompt you know based on my requirement or i have not you know given a very specific prompt this was very general prompt but still the results are amazing okay so you can see what 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 this software is capable of so once uh, the data analysis would be started so it will tell you from where it started the analysis so it's using summary column for the data set and perform the text processes processing okay text processing to clean and normalizing the text data they include removing special characters converting lowercase to tokenize it text so this is first step what this data analysis tool have already done so for this it is it used a uh, Python code so the code is also available if you want to use Python so you can use uh, this code copy and paste and you can use this in Python as well so analyzing results so these are different result article title these are some of the findings the way it, it crafted okay and then this is what exactly being done the tokenized summary okay so this is what exactly being done so you can understand what exactly this software is is doing or this ai tool is doing for you so it's not just something coming out suddenly and you can just uh, you know you can't analyze uh, what exactly happened so you can download this summary sheet if you want to use it in your research and you want to identify okay these are the steps we identify to analyze the literature and the similar uh, method can be used for qualitative research as well so if you want to use the qualitative research similar data analysis now what this software did actually it used uh, tf and idf this is a latent uh, method of uh, data extraction where we have uh, you know uh, working on the differences between two terms how accurately or how much correlated these two terms are okay so um, these are non uh, uh, negative matrix uh, to cluster summary so this is what exactly uh, being extracted so article title topic name okay so these are all information so you can download them then you have label uh, so now the system use another step where this the topic was labeled okay so you can see that the descriptive topic name so this is suggested by AI tools and finally it gives you 2d plotting for this different articles and their analysis so you, these are the clusters classified uh, visualization a very good uh, representation of the data but you can change based on different prompts which we can learn uh, later on how we can use this tool uh, to you know make it more accurate uh, form of the uh, data analysis okay so this is simple uh, topic number and index and these are clusterization so then finally it gives us conclusion which is basically our uh, interest so cluster uh, uh, conclusion is this it gives us uh, into distinct clusters so blockchains in supply chain eco-friendly initiative competitive strategy sustainability in business and supply chain optimization so these are uh, different clusters which have been uh, evolved from the prompt uh, from the summary of finding from the literature remember i haven't told uh, this data analysis tool to work on sectors okay i just asked it to create a prompt or create a uh, clusterization based on different 
uh, summaries of finding okay so uh, it also tells us what are the uh, specific relationship uh, based on the clusters okay so and also gives us the visualization analysis and all this so let's let's try to rethink about this prompt and now this time let's let's write another prompt Now you can see I have given a, a detailed prompt, not really a detail, but still it's it's a little bit more detailed prompt, but I, I'm going through this process, but I haven't given the final prompt. Uh, I need to think and everybody should think about the final prompt and write everything which we need for the analysis, for the comparison, and then write your accurate prompt, okay? So I can show you some of the examples of this type of the prompt, okay? so. Uh, summary of each work your task is to utilize the information to summary column to classify the literature into distinct cluster each cluster should represent a cohesive group of works based on their thematic content narrative style and other relevant pattern use summary information to identify so i use chat gpt to write a very specific prompt for the same purpose so you can use chat gpt in order to write the prompt as well okay so that that's what i did so we'll see uh, this in a while but let's 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 go back to this so what work has been done now until now you can see that based on the sector the system have already uh, created different uh, outcomes from uh, you know the data so this is how we can use power drill a very powerful and with the advanced analytics it's it's really really amazing tool for all of us to work with okay so this is this is really a powerful tool okay so let's let's just wait for the output sorry i i believe i have uh, consumed more time than and the promised one so i'll try to uh, you know conclude it in a while and then we can proceed with the question answer session i i know you you may have a lot of questions uh, working with this but uh, just give me five more minutes so we can conclude this session and then we can move on with the question answers okay okay you can see that amazing it's giving me all the information okay so What an amazing output uh, this software is giving me. It's, it's not just giving me different sectors, but it's also give me different implications of blockchains within each uh, sector. So this is what I, I wanted from this software. Okay, so uh, this is our second option, second AI tool, which I believe is really, really powerful. PowerDrill.ai. So uh, 